Hi, welcome to Vocabulary Wednesdays. I'm Chris with Magoosh. Today's theme is really cool. It's inspired by something that's going to be happening over the next month or so. It's the presidential debates in America. So by the time you see this, one up will have already happened. And I have words here that are inspired by this debate. Eight, eight, ending in the word A-T-E. These are verbs, high charge, angry verbs coming at you. In the form of mudslinging, one opponent, Donald Trump versus the other, Hillary Clinton, we have calumniate. This comes from the noun calumny, which is slander or aspersions, to say really negative things about someone. So take it into a verb, and there it is, to calumniate. So Donald Trump will get up there, and he will slander Hillary for a, a variety of things. And then Hillary will wait, 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 and then it'll be her turn, and she will calumniate Donald Trump for a bunch of things. So when you see this happen, think calumniate. What else will they do? Well, just now I said that Hillary will wait and then she will dig into Donald Trump and point out all of his shortcomings, all of his failures. What she's doing in this specific scenario is recriminating, coming up with counter accusations. So Donald Trump says, well, I think that Hillary was bad with her email and she'll shoot back, recriminate. Well, I think Donald Trump's just bad, period. Whatever witty things they come up with, we're not sure. That's why we watch the debates. But when you take an accusation and you spin it around, throw it back at the other person, you recriminate. Next, we have equivocate. This isn't about being as aggressive. This is when you're on the defense and you don't want to answer a question directly. So you kind of go around it, evade it, so you don't have to direct it. For instance, so Hillary, tell us a little bit more about the email situation. Instead of answering directly, she might go around it, not be direct. Meanwhile, if people ask Donald Trump, so tell us about your income tax, your tax returns. We'd like to know some more. Why aren't you telling us about them? He might not give a direct answer. And that is an example of equivocating, again, being evasive so as to avoid telling the truth. Finally, vituperate, a really harsh word that means to criticize harshly and severely. And when each candidate has his or her own minute to talk, then they will sit there and they will launch in viciously to the other opponent and criticize them harshly and relentlessly. And that's why we have a word like vituperate to really sh show that strong and harsh criticism that each opponent will throw at the next one over the next month in these awesome can't wait to see presidential debates. And I will see you next time.